What's going on guys? So we're going to be doing a tortoise mansion today. If you guys don't know what a tortoise mansion is, if you've ever played Monopoly, you know when you mix four houses, you get a hotel. Well, I'm going to be mixing two houses today and we're going to be getting a mansion. So make sure you guys stick around for that. But first I want to feed this guy really quick. So we still got some of the fishes in here. I don't think he's eaten a single one of them yet. I don't know if he's even tried catching them, but I'm going to show you what the fish do to him now. And there he is. I refilled his water yesterday because the water was evaporating and there's a little fish there. And the fish wants to get the cricket. Oh, the, the fish actually took the cricket from half of the cricket. I feed the fish too. I feed them these little goldfish flakes that I had left over from one of my rescues and they've been eating it doing fine. He took the head, left it there, and now he's trying to take more out of his mouth. All right, but yeah, that's the little snapping turtle eating some crickets and then the fish eating some crickets as well. I'll feed him again later. All right, so you can see right here, that's a tortoise house. And I got another tortoise house right there. I'm gonna combine them, make one big one. I'm gonna flip the hinges on one because you see if I combine them, one's gonna open this way and the other one's gonna open this way. So I don't want them doing that. The way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna overlap this with this one so that they're uh, together because if I just put them like this, I'm gonna drill them in by the way. If I just put them like this, then then somebody could come and just open it up. And then I'm, the little walls here I'm gonna take out obviously because it's gonna be combined. And if somebody comes and moves it, then all the dirt's gonna come out and the tortoises are gonna come out too. So I gotta make sure that I drill them together so that there's no escapes and no leaking of the dirt because I don't wanna make a mess. Wood right here is really thin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill some holes so that I could screw it into this because I don't want it to crack. All right, so I'm gonna get this started. I'm kind of nervous, honestly, because I don't want to break these houses. These houses are expensive. And I got this one for free, actually, because it was a donation from a rescue, but I'm just kind of nervous because I don't have any other ones. All right, so as you can see, I just moved up all the peat moss right there and I'll just drill right here, a couple screws and put it in and hopefully that works out. Right, and that's how you make a tortoise mansion right there. It came out pretty good. Uh, the only thing I'm a little worried about is this because this you could push out a good amount. So I might put like a little stick and just drill it into the sides here so that it doesn't, so that it's more firm together. But other than that, it came out really good. I thought it would look a little bit weirder. I still have to drill the this side to the bottom and then this one completely because I don't want it like falling off and then it splits on the middle there. So definitely don't want that. So I'm finished drilling it all up, but looks promising. There it is. And I still gotta put the doors. Something that I just realized I didn't think about earlier for some reason is that dirt is gonna go through these cracks too. So I'm gonna go get a piece of wood that I could drill from here to here so that that does not happen. I don't know if I should maybe just cut up those pieces of wood and use the same material because I'm not really gonna use these for anything else. So maybe I could just the door just fell. Uh, but yeah, maybe I could just do this. I'll see, I'm gonna figure something out. All right, so this is what I'm gonna use so that I can cover the little holes. It's gonna take up a bit of space from the prison, I mean the mansion, but yeah.
So I already put the two pieces of wood here. Now it's nice and firm together and no dirt would come out. Now just to put the doors back on. go have all the red foots in here and now I have the leopard tortoises in the same enclosure and now it's gonna be better for me because I just feed them once and I don't have to feed multiple enclosures and they could have their little race riots in the middle and all that so it's gonna be perfect for them out here all right so there we go we built the little tortoise mansion got some little baby leopard tortoises right here and I think I only have two of these guys left for sales you guys are interested in getting either a baby leopard tortoise or a baby redfoot tortoise make sure you guys go to shadowsreptiles.com i have some available and i have some baby sulcata tortoises on pre-order as well which would be available in a couple of weeks so make sure you guys go check that out they are available right now i only got a couple of these i got two of these left and these guys i have about three of them left but i have some more hatching out so in two weeks i'll have more available so if you order i'll make sure i'll ship you guys one of them in two weeks if you don't get them right away. And with the virus going around, I am shipping these guys too. I'm just shipping one day a week. I'm shipping every Monday, just in case these guys get delayed. FedEx doesn't work uh, throughout the weekend with animals, live animals. So I gotta make sure I ship them early in the week so that if it gets delayed, they have a whole week to get the issue fixed. So far, so good. I had one shipment delayed and nothing happened. These guys could be in the the shipping box for a whole day if needed but i prefer that the shipment doesn't get delayed obviously but i do one day a week which is the safest for them i could ship all week normally if i wanted to but i prefer just one uh, i also don't want to be leaving the house too much if i don't have to so i'm just leaving it limited to one day a week so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you leave a like subscribe if you haven't already turn on post notifications and have a great day